In this video, I'll go over how to get the day of the week from a date in LibreOffice Calc. So in column B, I have a list of dates in September. In column C, I just typed in the word Sunday, but I'm too lazy to fill in the rest of the cells. So I'm hoping that Calc can provide either a formula or a date format to do this for me. And lastly, in column D, I'm using the weekday function to give me a value of the day, which works great if I just want the number, but I actually prefer to get the name of the day. So this video will go over both scenarios to fill in column D and column C. So firstly, let's talk about the weekday function. Calc actually has a help page on this function. And we see that firstly, it takes in the date and the second parameter, it'll take in a type. If we don't use a type, then it'll just assume that Sunday is the first day of the week. But if I wanted Monday to be first day of the week, I would use a type of two in the parameter. So let's give this a try. Here in my weekday function, I'll add in a type of two for the parameter. And now we see it has changed to the value of seven, meaning that Sunday is the last day of the week and Monday would be the first. So if I apply the formula down now on September 2nd, which is a Monday, we have the value one, meaning the first day of the week. Now having a number value is useful because different people around the world don't necessarily use English for the name of the day of the week. So if I have a friend in France or a friend in Brazil, it doesn't matter that I use a number value, but if I use Sunday, they might not appreciate as much. However, I like to display the name of the day of the week. And so for column C, I'll just set my value to be the cell right next to it. And we can achieve what we want through date formatting. I'll go ahead and highlight my range of cells. I'll right click on this and choose format cells. Now under the numbers tab and in the date category, we can take a look at the format we'd like to see. So if you wanted to show the day of the week with the date following it, and we could take a look at the rest of the format to see if there's anything that we'd like to use. Here, I'm not seeing one where it's Friday by itself. I have some options where it has Friday, but with a date following it. And the way we can achieve that is by creating our own format. Now it's not as hard as you might think. So here we notice the format cells dialog already populated a format code for me where we have two capital N's, three capital M's, a D and two Y's. So that represents what we see in the preview box. What I really want is for this to show Monday as a whole word and not abbreviated and not truncated. So lucky for us, Calc actually provides format code information. On their webpage, the format code here is what I'd like to see. And I'll provide links to the help pages in my video description below. The codes I could use are three capital N's, four D's or four A's. So with all these options, I'll just pick the A's since I'm a quadruple A quality spreadsheets teacher. Just kidding. So now let's create our own format by going to the user defined category. And here's a blank for the format code. And I'll type in capital A's. So after putting in three A's, I'm seeing Monday, but it's truncated. And with four A's in, I have the full word Monday. This is exactly what I want to see. And so before clicking the check mark button, I'll click the I icon because I want to enter a comment for my format. Now I'm able to type in my own note or comment here. I'll just call this day of the week. Okay. Now I choose check mark. Now I'm automatically brought to the date category and my defined code shows up right here already selected. It's showing the code I typed in the comment as well. Now, if I wanted to delete this format code in the future, I can click the X button, but I actually want to use it and I'll choose. Okay. There we go. It has applied the date format I created. However, if you notice for Saturday is showing Shabbat. Now I'm used to seeing Saturday. So let's see what's happening by going back to the help page. 
if I scroll down here, it mentions different locales and different codes. So it matters what your default language is set in Calc. I'm set to English USA down here, but I had used capital A as my format code. So even though it shows that it's a day of a week, if my friend in France opens it up, you'll see the year information and not the day of the week. So picking A is not the best code for me to use. A better one would have been D because remember, I have the option to use N or D as well. So let's update that. Back in Calc, I'll go to a cell and then I'll choose Format Cells. Under the user defined category, here is my format. And instead of four A's, I'll use four D's. And for the format code, I'll re type in what I had used with a little more commentary. And I'll click the check mark. And now we're back to the date category and we see both formats. The first one using A's and the second one using D's. So now I can actually delete the first one and now make sure to apply the one I just created. Okay. Now it's applied to one cell and I want to apply to the rest of the cells. So I could either copy and paste, which will apply the formats or I could try the format painter. This icon is called clone formatting. So I clicked it once and then I'll click and drag to select the cells I want to apply it to. There we go. Now we're seeing Saturday in cell C9. So now instead of me having to type in days and potentially make mistakes or typos, I can have calc figure it out for me. Speaking of calculating, if you want to know the difference between two dates, whether in amount of days, months, or years, check out this other video I made on how to find date differences in LibreOffice Calc. Thanks for watching and as always, stay nifty.